Reverend Jerry Falwell turned the gymnasium on the campus of his college into a giant TV studio overflowing with his students. They, along with their faculty, had been strongly advised to show up. And when Falwell marched into the gym, there was little doubt that at least here, he was the star of the one-hour creation debate. I hold to the view of biblical creation because I believe in the inerrancy of Scripture and I accept totally the Genesis account of creation. In fact, Dr. Russell Doolittle, here to argue the theory of evolution, was just about the only person involved in this show who seemed to believe in the theory. In contrast, I find creation science is a pseudoscience. It distorts, it misrepresents, we've seen it tonight, it ignores facts, it's based on a narrow religious dogmatism. It puts, to put it in the science classroom, I believe, is to handicap America. It's to cheat our children. The audience, as much a part of the show as the debaters, provided a polite ovation for the evolutionist. But they clearly gave Dr. Dwayne Gish, the debater defending the theory of creation, thunderous approval. The origin of the universe and all living forms came into being through the design, purpose, and deliberate acts of a supernatural creator. The theory of evolution didn't have a chance with this audience, and to no one's surprise, there weren't any converts. But the Reverend Jerry Falwell does have a new religious television show, and producing that TV show was, after all, the purpose of the debate. Joe Benton, ABC News at Liberty Baptist College in Lynchburg, Virginia.